overseas it's kind of a you know an experience that doesn't come up very often just um what's like kind of your mindset entering this opportunity both of you uh, mine is have fun i mean not everyone gets to go to greece and gets to be able to play three games so um obviously we're focused on the games but the games aren't meant to make or break our season. It should be fun, you know, everyone should get to play and I think it'll just be a good trip just for us like team bonding wise to kind of get to know each other. Uh, I think just going over there with our team being someone new this year, we have a lot of new pieces. I just feel like it'll be great for us to like see what we're all working with before we get into like official practice and like preseason and starting to like get ready for the season. Yeah, talking about having a lot of new pieces, Sam, I feel like this is kind of the first year that we can be like, you're like kind of a vet like now at this point. Just how are you getting ready for kind of that type of role? Um, you know, just maintaining, like working out, uh, lifting. Um, when I was home, I was doing stuff. I was home for like a month and a half. I was doing stuff at home. Then I came back and it's more of like a regimen and a routine now. So just keeping up with what I've been doing and then letting that uh, help me piggyback off of my past two years. And then Michaela, just you're kind of getting ready for almost like your Amber Ramirez like season where you're the only one. You're the <laughs> you're the old head, I guess. Um, just whenever you're the only one on the team, kind of um, you know, in that role, what type of I guess leadership are you hoping to trickle down on the rest of the team? Um, just being way more vocal. I think uh, a lot of people look to me for like answers a lot of the time, and sometimes like. I'm not really paying attention enough to realize that like, they're asking me. Um, so just more of a vocal role and just like instilling things that like I think were good parts of our past teams and passing it down to our freshmen, sophomore, juniors, or whatever, just passing it down. First question, Michaela, just how much of this year going into your last year, business and pleasure, like how much are you really going to try to soak in this being your last year, but yet, you know, focusing on the task at hand and finishing that unfinished business of getting that win in the NCAA tournament? Um, for me, I want to have this to be the most fun I've had in a season. So for me, winning is fun. So I want to win as much as we can. Um, but I just think like realizing like I only have like so much time left and realizing like if you have a bad practice, it shouldn't affect my whole day. Like you have a practice tomorrow, you can get over it. Like just realizing like things are bigger than basketball after this year for me. And Sam, this being the last year you get to play alongside Michaela, what, what are you looking at, you know, learning from her moving forward to where this will be now your team? Uh, <laughs> um, I've been looking up to Mac for the past two years I've been here. So basically, you know, this is kind of my year to also lead, but be alongside of her and like behind her and help with that. So I just feel like taking up after what she's done, you know, just making sure that if she says something, everybody has heard it. Um, I don't know. I, 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 don't, I don't really like talking about this Stop. being her last year. Like, I don't like talking about it at all. Well, and how are you going to be able to use these three games and, and learning how to be more vocal? I know you've said that you wanted to be more of a vocal leader of this team. So how is this going to help you prepare going into fall camp? Well, it'll better help me understand, like, people and who we actually have coming in helping us and helping our team I think it'll be like a test like okay this person doesn't like this or this person needs to be talked to like this or this person needs to be coached up like this in order to help them succeed so I just feel like it's just a like a preview of what I'm getting myself into this season and I think it'll be really helpful going further along the season. Last thing for me, for both y'all, just outside of the fun part, what is going to be the biggest takeaway you hope to get from this experience sharing the court with your with your new teammates? Um, for me, it's just like, obviously the freshmen and just the new people that we have, I don't really know like their tendencies like in a game or even in practice yet. So for me, it's just like learning people's tendencies and learning like, okay, if I'm dribbling at this person, are they trying to get a handoff or are they going to back cut? Just those like little things that like in a game could cause turnovers. And so I think we can get that ironed out like in those three games. This is a question for both of you. What's it like having Sasha back in the gym and what sort of impact do you think she could have this year? Um, it's great having Sasha back, honestly. Uh, even when she wasn't playing last year, she was still around. She would show up to practices. She would, like, come and do team things with us. So it's so much so, like, it's just a plus having her back on the court with us. Um, just like she said, uh, Sasha is a very competitive person. So just having her back brings a different type of energy. And, I mean, 
you see Sasha do certain things in practice and you're kind of amazed, but it's like, wait, I knew she could do this. <laughs> you know, we just haven't seen it in a while. So it's really good to see her getting back in the groove of things. Amazing. Um, I've never been to Dubrovnik. Have you heard of you guys? No. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure Naves has a whole itinerary <laughs> field trip planned for you guys. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> what, for what sure. What do you think everybody's looking forward to? Getting over there, I guess. Even though, like, we're playing three games, but, like, we're not practicing at all. So in our spare time, we're going to be, like, hanging out, touring stuff, just getting to sightsee and actually, like, live in the moment while we're there. I don't even know what I'm excited about. I'm just excited about it all. <laughs> um, I don't really know what our itinerary is. You know, I'm more of a the day before person, so that's way too far for me to be learning <laughs> itinerary. Yeah. This is your second Euro trip, right? No, this is my first one. They okay. went the year before I got here. Amazing. Um, how do you both feel about international play when it comes to playing overseas? I mean, I'm sure it'll be something that we're not used to, but I think it'll be a good experience just to have to defend certain like certain things that we're just not used to, but I think it'll be fun. Uh, yeah, I think it'll be fun. A lot of people say competition overseas is a lot tougher, so I'm interested to see. Have you guys thought about packing? How do you pack oh, yeah. for, for, for a nine-day trip to Europe? Yeah. <laughs> I'm someone who has to pack a long time ahead of time, or I will forget things. I cannot pack the <laughs> night before. I won't have anything I'm supposed to have. Uh, I have a problem with overpacking, <laughs> so my issue is going to be my bag being under 50 pounds. What are you guys going to be doing on the flight? Do you think it's going to be like basketball <laughs> talk, going over game plan for the games, or...? or I'm popping movie. two melatonin gummies um, and going to sleep. Yeah, I'm going to be asleep. We're flying what? through the night, so I will be asleep. I will be asleep. I'm not waking up <laughs> till we get there. <laughs> is there a, I know Will kind of asked you, but is there a one single thing you're most excited about? Have you guys been to Europe in general before? Mm-mm. Either one of you? Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, I have. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> yeah, I have. I've been to Italy. Um... <laughs> But I, it was like when I was a lot younger, so I really don't remember that much. But so I think this will be just an exciting trip. I think we'll do a lot of walking, so we'll be tired at the end of each day. But I think it'll be a really good experience. Samara, what does your free throw routine currently look like? Uh, what I ended the season off with, just stepping up and shooting it. It does me well, honestly. I don't have to think about it just like a regular jump shot. Um, just for both of you, with so many new freshmen on the team this year, I know you each, like your freshman year, had pretty big roles on the team. Just kind of what is that experience having been there and been a freshman who made a big difference? How does that impact now as an upperclassman, how you, um, I guess, try and steer them along? Um, I think, like, not putting that pressure on the freshmen to have a big role, I think kind of just letting them kind of – figure their way into that. I think once people start putting that pressure on a freshman, like, you got to come this, you got to do this, you got to play this many minutes, I think that doesn't do them well at all, no matter how good they are. I just think letting them just figure it out themselves and being there, like, for to support them is the best thing that we can do. Um, honestly, I think compared to Mac and I's freshman year, our freshmen have it a lot easier than we did. Um, I mean, like, I won freshman of the year. I feel like a few of the people on our team have the opportunity to be able to do that. But I just feel like it'll be like kind of like less for them. Um, they won't have to do as much. They can still be impactful, but it won't have to be so great that it'll like mess with them mentally. Um, so yeah, I just feel like that. And then Sam, just kind of as the non-conference schedule is progressively kind of come out, it seems like you're going to get to go home quite a bit. Just what do you think about that? Um, I mean, it's a great opportunity, honestly. Um, I'm happy that even the past two years, uh, my freshman year, we got to play at Florida. And I can't remember where else. And then last year, we got to play a few times in Florida, too. But just being able to have my family who live in different parts of Florida be able to make different games. Uh, Pretty awesome. Two more questions. Just, just talk about the depth and knowing that you have potentially too deep at every position, and how is that going to help y'all really trickle down on who the roles and being able to get some of those to accept those roles when you talked about 
freshmen coming in and being expected to play right away? I mean, what learning lessons can you give them on learning the importance of accepting your roles this year? Um, well, number one, I think it gives us the opportunity to play a lot more freely. You're not worried about, oh, if I get two, three fouls, like I have to sit and then, you know, it's a drop off. You really are just worried about if I get subbed out, like the next person's going to come and step up. So I think it just allows us to play more freely. And then I think like this trip is going to help us. I'm not saying we're going to figure out our roles on this trip, but it'll help us like lead into that.